a dedicated businessman, a family man, my mentor, and my father. Well, if you've ever wanted to see Richard Gere get into a bit of a mess, this is the film for you. We're here for Arbitrage tonight here on the red carpet in Leicester Square. You're watching the fan carpet. I'm Rachel Mullins. This film, what's it about? Uh, it's about uh, Robert Miller, uh, is a hedge fund billionaire, trying to get rid of his empire uh, without being caught in his scheme. Great. That was a great little nutshell there. Um, what was it like working with Richard Gere? Well, it was a dream come true. He's so passionate and he, he's a professional and just working with someone who's been in movies like An Officer and Gentleman, Pretty Woman and all these films, just great. Did you work with him every day? Uh, yes, he was very humble when he was on set and he was more like a father to all of us and we're, he, we just learned so much from him. Oh, lovely. And why should people go and see this film? Sell it to us. <laughs> well, they should see it because it's entertaining and Richard Gere gives one of the best performances of his career. And as well, um, uh, we've got a, a great supporting cast, Susan Sarandon, Tim Roth, Letitia Costa and Nate Parker. Are you excited to see the film? Uh, Richard Gere, Susan Sarandon, are you joking? I know. The guy next to me has had a little kiss and embrace with Richard. The jealousy. jealousy. I, I, was, I was in Dubai the other week and I was stomping at the polo and I was like, I am Julia Roberts. <laughs> you are a pretty woman. Absolutely. Well, enjoy watching it and good luck with everything in your career. Thank you very much. Congratulations on it being nominated for a Golden Globe. Thanks. That's pretty awesome. Um, was it pretty difficult playing a cold, dark character? Did that come quite naturally? He's so cold. I'm cold right now. I think everyone around it's different kind of cold. But I think that these guys don't achieve what they do because they're cold. They do it because they're charming. And, uh, you know, we have a saying of saying, selling snake oil. You know, it's, they're in, in many ways, they're confidence men. Um, they're selling something based on our belief that they can do something that no one else can do. They have some kind of magic. They have a system, you know, that, that of course doesn't exist. You know, most of these guys are just gamblers. And do you reckon it's well timed with what's going on in our financial crisis? Yeah, no, look, I, we've been all over Europe. We were in Amsterdam opening the movie and in Rome and here and I, in Paris, we've been all over the world. This crisis is everywhere and, and these guys have a lot to blame for it, obviously, but we do too because we allowed them to do it. So all the bankers should go and see this and we can get some kind of moral code going. We should be very clear that deregulation is something we don't want. We need to have oversight on all of these things and we need to break the boys club. All these guys are in a club make the decisions for us. So we got to break that up. We got to watch them. Were you drew at the screen tonight watching him? He's a pretty dishy dude, isn't he? And uh, the Silver Fox, uh, I think this is the perfect, perfect role for him, actually. A hedge fund billionaire. There couldn't be a better man for the job. Amazing. So you're going to really enjoy the film. Let's talk about Country File. What's going on with that? It's very exciting at the moment. Country File goes, you know, we're doing, we're doing very well. We're really proud that people still are watching it in their millions. So it's become sort of Sunday night viewing, which we're, we're very chuffed about. And we've got a special episode coming up soon with the Prince of Wales. So, ooh! Ooh, Charles. Charles, I have been hedge laying with Charles. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about this film then. Why do you love it? Why do I love it? Well, I love it because I made it. You know, it's like my child. I mean, how do you... you Baby. You know, fat, ugly. You love your child no matter what. Um, so he'll always look beautiful to you. Of course, I only see the flaws, um, and uh, therefore it's impossible for me to truly watch it and enjoy it. But I, I like that other people like it. Absolutely. And what, why Richard Gere? Why was he so perfect? Well, he's one of the greatest actors in the world, and he um, is sort of perfect for this role because he has such a charm and um, uh, uh, confidence, you know, that you can see why people would do business with him. And at the same time, he has pathos and he has depth, and he's not afraid to go to the dark side and to share those feelings with an audience. So. We're getting into kind of a, a scene of sort of dark and kind of deep films. Now we've had Les Mis and we've got this. Is everything getting kind of deep? Well, you know, there's deep and there's deep, right? I think this is an entertaining film, and it's a, it's a thrill ride. It's meant to keep you on the edge of your seat, keep you engaged, and there's a lot of humor in here, too. You know, it's not all Sturm and Drang. Sometimes you got to laugh even in the darkest moments Woo! in life. So it looks like everyone's very excited to go in and catch the film now. You've been watching the fan carpet. I'm Rachel Mullins. See you soon.